Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Pierre uh, from France and today I'm very excited to present you Astocad uh, which is an improved version of FreeCAD basically. Yeah. So FreeCAD is a really awesome engineering tool. Right? There is a lot of workbenches and it's very powerful. You can do Python programming, you can do macros and stuff. But one thing that keeps coming back is that FreeCAD's learning curve is very steep and the UI is like a bit chaotic, right? It's, um, and so I've been working on FreeCAD for maybe three years now and I've been trying my best to, to improve the UI. So I've worked a lot and I've made maybe 300 PRs to make FreeCAD better and better. Um, so if you've used uh, the .21 and the 1.0 version of FreeCAD, you have probably seen a lot of the stuff that I've made. Uh, so there is a lot of things in Sketcher, uh, like the dimension tool, um, the uh, spin boxes, you know, when you draw geometry, you have spin boxes where you can type in the value directly. Um, the chamfer tool, the offset tool, the um, pattern tools, just even the arc slot tool, uh, the rectangle tool. Basically, I, I rewrote a big portion of the of the tools and the grid as well. Um, so a lot of stuff in uh, in uh, Sketcher. And then also in TechDraw, I've done some stuff in TechDraw, but not that much. And then um, about two years ago, I got hired by uh, Oncel and they just wanted me to improve FreeCAD. And so I've worked for about two years, I have a bit less uh, on FreeCAD full time. And that's when I have mm, wrote uh, most of the um, assembly workbench. So the integrated assembly workbench uh, so not the solver, right? Because the solver has been written by uh, Axion, who is a mathematician. Uh, but the workbench itself, so I wrote the workbench on FreeCAD. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot of stuff. Um, and today, unfortunately, Oncel stopped because we unfortunately ran out of, uh, of funds, right? And so today I want to launch a new project, which is called Astocad. And the idea is to do something similar to Oncel ES, if you have tried it before. So it's like um, a polished version of FreeCAD with uh, UI improvements, um, uh, yeah, a polished UI, and then uh, some um, features that are not in main FreeCAD yet. So the idea is that Astocad will be uh, built on top of the latest FreeCAD version, so it will not be forking from FreeCAD, right? It will always be rebased on FreeCAD, and I will make new features um, and new stuff, new cool stuff, fixing a lot of things and so on. And all of that, I will, yeah, keep it on top of FreeCAD. And after some time, so maybe a few months, uh, I will push the new feature into FreeCAD. So this way. I get to have like a polished version of FreeCAD that I can sell. And at the same time, I'm still making features for FreeCAD, which is what I want to do, right? So that's what Astocad is all about. So if you if you are interested in a polished version of FreeCAD with, um, with new features um, that you get to enjoy before people in FreeCAD, then uh, it's for you, right? So, Astocad is actually open source, so the code is fully open. Uh, however, it is not free, so the builds will be accessible only uh, to the members. And so if you want to become a member, it will be a few, um, it, it's four euro for one month. So it's not expensive, it's just a bit. And it, it let me uh, make a living out of it, right? Because I cannot keep going full time on FreeCAD with, without making a living out of it. So today, um, yeah, so that's about it. That's the idea of Astocad. And now let me show you the, the current features uh, that I've made for the initial release of Astocad. So first let me hide, uh, hide my face. How do I do this? I think it's uh, this one. Yeah, right. So one of the main feature, uh, the yeah, the the flagship uh, feature of uh, the first release of Astocad is the title bar. So you see, 
I've made a custom title bar so the title bar and the menu bar have been merged into one and so you have the window decoration and also a toolbar area here where you have the core um, the core uh, tools right so what I really like about this feature is that we get, we, we get back like we have the space that was wasted for the title bar we get it to some useful stuff and also the other thing is that we separate like the the the, the program tools such as new file save and do and so on from the workbench tool so now in this area in this toolbar area here we have only the workbench tools and i think that helps to make things much clearer for the user and yeah and so as i was telling you those are uh, actually toolbars that you can actually dock so if you go here and you uncheck this lock menu bar toolbars you can then customize this right so you still get to customize as much as you want but by default it's i think it's uh, it's a nice layout like this so let me lock that again and now let's keep moving right so this let's have a look at the toolbar uh, itself so the first button which is actually not a toolbar it's a, it's like the menu which has been hidden by default so before you had like the obviously the menu bar which had the menu so now the menu bar is here and the reason is that i'm trying to make everything that is useful directly accessible at the right place right so that you don't have to go into the menu and then go in view and try to find what you are looking for so my plan was yeah to 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 kind of kind of hide the menu from view and make it so that we don't need it anymore um, so first we have this uh, new uh, group in which you can create a new empty file but you can also create a new part or a new assembly and those new comments that will make a new file with uh, with an assembly so let's say you click new assembly and you call this uh, something and then you see it cre it's creating a new file with your assembly and you can start making the assembly so the idea is that it helps you like um, uh, keeping a better structure for the files with you know one file per part and one file per assembly um, then we have this as uh, open group where you have the open command but also the recent files so that's something new uh, the save group is like you have the save comments and, uh, and the export one um, yeah so that's nice and then we have the um, core datum object so this one is actually already in FreeCAD main but it's in the development version so it's something that I've made but it's already in FreeCAD and the idea behind it was to unify the datum objects in FreeCAD because before you had like several objects several different objects such as the um, origin object the part design datum object and then each workbench was actually re-implementing something like this so lattice 2 and other the assembly the different assembly workbenches so yeah so this is the unified datum objects here and then we have the uh, tools group in which we have like preference customize edit parameter add-on manager and then some useful stuff um, so to give you an example of what i meant by wanting to hide the menu is that if we have a look at the menu and then tools you see we have more tools but things that i think no one is actually using like the scene inspector dependency graph export dependency graph document utility it's i think it's things that very few people use right so it's not very important that they are accessible to everyone so that's why i'm been doing this move and to try to make the interface uh, smoother right so then the next thing we can see in the toolbar is that it's uh, using the uh, the tab bar for the workbench selection um, 
and the top bar is much more uh, user friendly because you can very easily change off workbench just by one click. So and you still have all the disabled workbench here, but the workbench that you use all the time, they are just here. You can easily switch back and forth. So I think that's very it's it's a very nice feature. So that's um, then you have the help group command also with some uh, all the help um, comments and the what's this um, yeah so that's about it for the uh, for the title bar so um, then about the application itself I think you may see that the the style uh, is a little different from Frika right the the style of the tree is uh, is uh, different uh, it's been inspired by the uh, the great open theme from Obelisk, um, so that's looking nice. And also the task boxes are looking uh, better, in my opinion. Um, so the themes are a bit a bit um, customized, right? Uh, about the Navicube here, you may see that there is a few additional features. Uh, first, you have the menu button still here. Let me just bring that a little bit so that you can see the uh, the menu. So you, the menu has been updated a little bit just just to make more sense. And and then uh, you have also additional buttons. So here, this one was already existing, but uh, just the icon is uh, makes more sense. Then you have a home button, which just goes to the current home view and isometric button which go to the isometric uh, isometric view so that's um, a few improvements for for the navi cube now let's see what else do we have we have oh yeah this button here so i made an an option that is enabled by default in uh, astocad so that when you click it instead of showing you a small dialog a small temporary dialog it just toggles the view of the report view in Python console so it's in my opinion it's much more convenient than what we had before mm, yeah so that's one small thing and then in Sketcher we have some some cool stuff also oh yeah one thing that is that you can see is that the size of the task boxes are actually um, resizing automatically which sounds obvious but which was not the case in FreeCAD so you see here the test box is very wide uh, because the minimum width is very wide so it's getting big and then if you cancel then it gets back to like the the size that actually makes sense right so you create a new sketch for let's see you see it updated to the correct size uh, okay, so in Sketcher, uh, one thing to notice uh, and that may uh, annoy people coming from FreeCAD is that I removed the close button and instead uh, we have like the close button here, which is the leave sketch. So I think it's the better choice in the future because uh, so I implemented the cancel editing tool here and Mm, one option would have been to have the close button and the cancel button next to each other but then I feel people would click cancel instead of close by mistake and that it would be very painful so I preferred to remove it from here because also I didn't really like it it, it was cluttering the view and here it just I think in the long term it will be better especially now with these very clear icons uh, and the new cancel editing tool. So the cancel editing tool is just uh, what you think it's going to be, right? So you uh, you have a new sketch uh, here, and then if you start editing it again, let's say you say something like this, and then you say, oh no, I don't want any more. You can cancel it. So the whole point of this feature request is that when you cancel it, it does not recompute. Uh, while before 
you had no choice if you opened the sketch and closed it then the whole document was recomputing which can be very long for very big files so yeah so we have this cancel tool now and um, and you can even undo the cancellation right so that's that's nice also okay so that's about it i think for sketcher Oh yeah, for Sketcher also, I'd like to mention that I removed some tools. So the the Bspline visualization tools toolbar, uh, I think it was not so useful. So now you can access it by right clicking. If you select a Bspline and then you right click, you get them right. But the, I don't think any anyone is actually using those, and and it makes more sense to have them by right clicking on the object than having a toolbar cluttering so yeah so i removed this from the toolbar and also show hide internal geometry has been removed from the toolbar if you right click a geometry that has internal geometry then you get the command right so it's small things but it's making life easier i think so because it's making like the ui much clearer right you are in sketcher it's very clear you have geometry tools you have some transform tools you have some constraints and that's it right it's, um yeah so another thing that has been removed is the view toolbar so the structure toolbar has been removed as well but you can see it's because it's actually in the the main core toolbar here uh, but the view toolbar has been removed and the reason is that because most of the view commands are actually in the right click so when you right click on nothing you have the, the important view commands right so first you have the navi cube and the menu if you want here but right click on nothing and you get all the important uh, uh, view commands right so I think that it makes more sense to have the comments here and not in the toolbar. So that's why it's been removed. Uh, okay, so I think we we had a look at about all the changes that I made in um, in Astocad. Well, there are a few small things like here I removed a bunch of unnecessary icons, and here I removed the close and the, the title of the home page. Uh, but those are small things. Uh, I can show you real quick the light theme. Uh, it's also it's also looking nice. Let's see, we make a new file. So you see the task box is uh, the style is different from the core, especially the tree and the task boxes. And so I think the theme is looking nice. But uh, but let me know what you what you think about it. All right, it's. Um, so that's about it I guess uh, it's all um, let me bring back uh, yeah so that's about all the features that are included in the um, in the first release of uh, Astocad so again if you are interested in this polished version of Astocad I hope you will join uh, you will join and subscribe to, um, to Astocad it's only 4 euro a month so it's not much and it really makes all the difference for me because if i can make a living then i can keep going on freecad and we're just going to to fix all the problems right we are going to to fix the ui everywhere it's uh, not good and we are going to implement the missing features and just we have a lot of stuff like my roadmap for the future is it's huge right i have a lot of cool stuff coming up so I really hope you consider joining and the link is down in the description and I hope you consider. Have a good day. Bye bye.